Hi everybody, this is my first video in English, so understand that it can be a little choppy, but uh, I'll try my best. It's arrived, it's uh, the almighty Vampire 600 version 2. Uh, it arrived today from Canada, uh, one of maybe the last vampires produced by Capital K. Uh, for anyone interested in buying this card, if uh, it will be produced from now on, but it's uh, uncertain, as news uh, of uh, yesterday. The price is 250 euros for the card, 30 euros of shipping costs, 8 euros of PayPal fees that I paid in Canadian dollars. Then I sustained an extra 70 euros, 78 euros of custom fees and a novelty. Thanks to Italian customs, over the best, for a total of 366 euros. For getting an accelerator like this, you have to submit a request of interest in the site of apolloaccelerators.com and then uh, have to wait in line for your turn in a queue of more than 2000 requests. Or try to buy one when they are available in online shops of Amiga Kit. Relic or Amiga uh, that are uh, the only distributors of this product for now. As you see, the, the card is really tiny, very little. The other version for now is the Amiga 500 version that works on a, a, a 2000 Amiga 2. It costs uh, 340 370 euros and have an IDA port that is missing that is not in this uh, version 600 version and uh, what this card gives to an Amiga 600 uh, there is an FPGA that is this little chip uh, that understand the machine code of 68000 processor and that is faster than any 68000 ever put in Amiga line of computers. It's something like a 68060 at 130 MHz uh, with a set of extra instructions named AMMX that can literally make fly any code written for a vampire. Oh, let's see, there is a vampire. Compatibility is very high. Uh, but for the moment, uh, uh, the card cannot run floating point unit instructions. So, any program that needs a floating point unit, uh, that are not so many to be honest, will not run on it for now. I said for now because the FPGA is like a reconfigurable chip. So, with the next update of the core, our soft floating point unit will be present and almost any Amiga software will run on it. The card of 128 MB on, of RAM on board, and it's uh, great. An SD card reader, maybe it must be that, uh, that at the moment doesn't make a boot. And an HDMI port that can handle retargetable graphics up to 1080 P in 32 bits of color, so it's like having a graphic card on your Amiga, and that's beautiful. But it's not finished. With the next core update, the FPGA will be handling even AGA and Polar Audio through this little motherfucker. So an ACS machine like an Amiga 600 or a 500 will become instantly an AGA machine just like uh, just with an update of the core uh, yeah I'm very happy to have one of these in the next days I will test the card and I will show you what a classic Amiga can do with this vampire and maybe that is uh, cool to be vampirized okay that's all for now bye